Merry Christmas folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Parasite Eve, this is episode 6 and what we're going to do today is finish off day 2. In the last episode we made it through the whole haunted zoo and forest areas. What we're going to do today is take on the boss, because this is a hell of a boss. Range is good, so the rifle is good. It's not just one boss either, look at it all, look at it all. You want to try and get them as soon as they pop out of the... You're going to waste a bullet though. Out of the floor, I was trying to say. You're gonna waste a bullet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we got hit. Those. Oh, oh, good. He popped up just in time there. That's good. What? Heal 2 is pretty much a must for this boss. Not. Well, not really, but. Unless you want to be using your medicines. Which, you know, you can do. Whatever. Do whatever way you like to heal. But, yeah, these are different worms, as you can tell by the fact that they're coming out at different times. And because they're different worms, they have different amounts of HP, you know, different sets of HP. Oh, God, didn't expect that to happen, man. Twice in a row. So that means you can't really aim for one worm over another because they're all, they all mix themselves up in the ground, you know? So you just gotta keep shooting and hope that they go down a bit quicker. When there's only one left, it's going to change a little bit. But not exactly enough to change the strategy. You shouldn't change the strategy throughout the whole battle. Right, one worm left? No, two. Okay, I thought there was only going to be one left after that one. Never mind, let's heal up a bit again. Heal 2 uses up so much synergy energy. Synergy energy. So, yeah. <laughs> Look out for that. Oh, crap. I'm going to be interrupted now, and I really don't want to be. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I'm going to have to split this recording up into two because of this. Uh, heal two again. Quite a repetitive boss, but you know, it doesn't take up too much your ammo considering it's a boss. You'd think bosses would use loads of ammo like in most RPGs. Oh, rifles are so bad at reloading. That's the major problem I have with them. Uh, worm? There we go. One more left. Ooh, he hit me and all. I wasn't expecting him to hit me after that. Oh well. Mom with me. No, you're there. There we go. Here we go. This is how he changes. He's going to be doing a lot of damage. Thankfully, we got a revive if we do need it. Going to have to use heal one then. I wanted to use a heal two there. Heal one's not going to be enough to get us through even one attack. There's no point using slow on this guy because he just attacks as soon as he comes up anyway. So it's pretty pointless. Can't remember how long his head is. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, no. I think if we go all out with attacks instead. Do you think that'll work out better? There he is. Okay, let's go up in the corner and hope that he can't hit this one there. Ah, oh, bollocks. He got in the way, so I couldn't actually see where the spikes were coming. You know what? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Right. What? He was nowhere near. What a knob. Come on, heal two. I really want to use heal two. I don't think we're going to be able to. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> it's a tough boss. It is for sure the toughest boss so far. Right, we avoided it. That's a, that's a nice change. It's no point shooting now because he's going to go underneath and we'll just waste bullets. So, wait for him to come up and do it straight away then. Go, 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 come on, go, go, go. Right. Heal 2 is coming up, but I think we'll get another couple of shots in first. No. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. So we're not going to die from one hit from him now. Here we go, we're done. See, we used to revive, so it didn't really go that well, but still. Two levels up. Are we going to get a third? Yep, yeah, three levels up. Ah, wow. 
so we went up to level 14. We learnt Barrier, so now you'd think that would be like protecting other RPGs, but no. What it does, it makes it so that attacks don't hurt you at all, but what it also does is it reduces your synergy and reduces your MP um, every hit. So once you run out of MP, you're not gonna you're gonna lose the benefits of the barrier. So that's something to look out for. Got loads of bonus points too, and loads of those sorts of items. Right. Let's use them now because we're not quite done with the bosses, you'll be surprised to find. Bit more defense, we'll chuck on there. Bit more defense, we'll chuck on there. Bit more defense, yeah, you know the drill. <laughs> um, heal two. Look how much health we got now after all that. I can use a medicine or two. Ready for us coming. So the worms are done. Remember we saw the sign about worms back at the zoo area? Well, there we go. Oh, cinematic coming up and it's a really good one. A really good one. Your genes are stronger than I thought. Come, my dear, let's go for a ride. And she does. She, she's just, she's stupid. She's thick as shit. Just shoot her. <laughs> of course, we actually make her get on there, but so it's all we can do. You ready folks? It's time for the boss. The second boss, the last boss of day two. I'm a human. Why are you going with them and not me? So Eve is wondering, we we apparently got some kind of special power. I might the conjure a better than most humans. So Eve is wondering why we're not with her, because okay, apologies about that folks. Just got interrupted once again. Uh you know. <laughs> You're probably used to it now. All you gotta do for this boss. You're gonna take damage. You're pretty much certain to take damage each time she attacks, or at least not far off. This attack you can avoid. Unfortunately we couldn't at this time, but we will do. A good move to use might be slow to slow her down. If it works, I don't know. I don't know which bosses it works best on, which it doesn't work at all on, because I've... I never tried. It's not exactly that good. So yeah. Just stay as far away from the little outline that you get for that move, and you'll have a good chance of avoiding it. Oh shit, I didn't think she'd hit me from me. You don't need to be using the rifle for this boss, by the way. I just do it for sacred. Is that the boss done? I don't think it's quite done yet, but I'm not sure. Seems you still don't know who I am. Or maybe it is. Maybe they gave us an easy boss afterwards, just because we've already had a boss. That's why you were drawn to the opera. Because we knew what was going to happen. What are you talking about? Here, let me explain directly. Stop it! Stop it, woman. If we join forces, all the other mitochondria in the world will... S stop. No, I don't want to join forces. I don't want to murder everyone. Only short cinematics, but I like them anyway. Right, this is what she's shown us now. I think. Probably. <laughs> Just switch beds, that was significant. Okay, so we're going back to Daniel to see what's going on with him. If he tries to enter, obviously nothing good can happen. And Ben, apparently he wasn't in the concert. So, he wasn't one of the people who melted. Turned into Goopy. Goopy. <laughs> who knows. Ben, when did you go into the concert? I came here with Mum, but she, she was all weird. What do you mean, Ben? 
I came with mom so the three of us could be together. So that's why you came to get me. Mom went to the stage, but she freaked out. So was she there? Was Lorraine in the concert? What do you mean, mum freaked out? I got near the stage and started to feel sick. I wanted to go home. Mum was nursed herself, Dad. She left and everyone else went too. So she actually just... I don't know if that means that Ben thinks she just left the concert when she melted, or if, um, or if Lorraine actually did leave. I don't know, this game can be a bit too subtle sometimes. It doesn't quite give you the information that you probably should know to feel anything for the game, you know? What do we do, sir? We will stay and assist in neutralising Eve. Shouldn't we leave it to the army? We're the ones that are supposed to be protecting the city. Any word from Maya? That's a no. <laughs> Damn it, wicked should be. Daniel, I need you to help evacuate the citizens. She's our only hope against this thing now. I'm going to go look for her. Shouldn't we stop him, sir? You probably should. He's lost Lorraine. He'll find Aya. You two help him with the evacuation. Oh, so she is dead. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we're done with day two pretty much. You know, we've done the dungeon. Daddy! Ben, I'm sorry. I have to go find Aya. Where'd she go? I don't know, but she's the only one that can fight the thing that hurt your mommy. Kath, look after the kid, will ya? I will, don't worry. Good old Kath. Daddy! Come on, sport. You like dogs? I'll introduce you to the best police dog in town. Ah, doggy. There he is. I quite like Alsatians, although, um... The only Alsatians I've ever met, is met the right, right word, they've always been quite vicious, you know? But I think that's more to do with how they were brought up than the dog breed itself. You know, that's, that's my interpretation. I don't think a dog is ever going to be bad unless it's brought up a bit funny. Some will. Some will just be born a bit. Violent. Hey, that tickles. This one ain't violent though, look at it. It's bloody licking all over the place. Oop. Okay, so this is everyone evacuating from the city. How many times have I got to tell you? We blocked this off. You won't even find a cat on this street. So the city is now empty. There's not going to be another concert fiasco or anything like that um, throughout the game. So the game is going to change a fair bit from now on. Japanese man. He's going to be a main character. He might not seem it. For some reason, when I see characters like that, he doesn't stand out that much. He's got a, gr a big green backpack. That'll make him stand out a bit, I guess. <laughs> but, um... I don't know. I never thought that he would turn out to be a main character in this game when I first met him by you. Personally. Hey, if you can't speak the language, go back to your country. How racist. I agree that people should know the basics of a language before, coming to, before moving to a country. But, uh, not... Not to the extent that they should be kicked out or anything. Oh no! Dead. <laughs> He's gonna be dead. At least they give the Japanese man an excuse to run away. A diversion. Spontaneous human combustion. I believe that's correct. Well, somewhat like that. It's not quite spontaneous, I don't think. No. Oh, bit of hospital scenery. How nice. 
how arty. <laughs> Some of the scenes in this game are so pointless. They're just a oh look at our Christmas decorations. Happy Crimbo. Um, I do like how hospitals decorate all Christmassy at Christmas time. I mean, the patients on the ward they would like to be. They would like to celebrate Christmas, even if they can't be home to do so, you know? So it's nice that they get all their ward decorated, if nothing else. And we found Aya. She'd gone missing. Didn't go back to the police department. But here she is. Japanese man. <laughs> What's his name? Maeda. Maeda. Maeda? 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 Uh, you're finally awake. Who are you? I'm Kunahiko Maeda. I'm a scientist from Japan. He found you. Who said that? It's Daniel! <laughs> yeah, we got... Daniel knows where we are now. He went out looking for us and found us. Unless he already knew where we were and he was just saying that to the chief to cover it up. I don't know what's going on. Never seen anything like it. Pretty creepy if you ask me. Yeah, ghost towns are quite creepy. I've never been to one myself. For pretty obvious reasons, maybe. But, um... I can imagine I'm being quite creepy. Ben was okay, but... The rest of the audience, well, they just disappeared. They they didn't disappear, Dan. They didn't disappear. You mean they weren't ignited? They all melted into slime and became one big mass. That they did. Oh, That's something new. Nothing like that happened in Japan. Japan? A similar incident occurred several years ago in Japan, so it's already happened once before, just at a smaller scale by the looks of it. Give us the details. Yeah, we'll need to know the details to know how to deal with it here. It all started when the scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. The scientist tried to culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. The scientist named those cells Eve. Yep. The liver cells multiplied and the mitochondria eventually took over her physical body. Ah, So they tried to keep her alive, but actually killed her off in the end. After acquiring the scientist's sperm, Eve tried to give birth to an ultimate being. What kind of being? She, the being who mutated from the liver cells, couldn't maintain her body for long. By the way, before the car accident occurred, the wife had registered her to her have her organs donated. Oh god, get her eventually. So after the accident, her kidneys were transplanted into a young girl, and Eve implanted a fertilised egg in the young girl who gave birth to an ultimate being. I was extremely interested in this, and went to his lab so that I could continue research. After hearing about this incident, I had to fly over there. What the hell is going on here? I wish I could explain more. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought that monster that got a hold of you thought it was too late. Well, it did. It got us in his little horse and carriage. Who? Horse and carriage. You felt you were about to be ignited, correct? Yep, just like everyone else. No, she's... Well, she's the only one that isn't affected. <laughs> it's true. Um, it's quite strange and quite a coincidence that they're both in the same country. Or same city, even. I think I may be a monster, like her. What are you saying, Aya? You're not going around killing everyone. What if I ended up killing you? Oh, shut up. You know that's not. Just stay away from me. Ooh, she's stressing. She has every right to stress. Look at everything that's going on. Please. Yes, I understand your point. Hey, where do you think you're going? They're just gonna give her a bit of space. I think she needs it. I can imagine her being in shock after everything. It's not exactly an everyday occurrence, is it? Even if I am a monster, I don't ever want to kill you. Daniel, please. I, I can never forgive myself if I killed you. Ooh, something going on there, isn't it? Look at it. It's like, it's probably why you got a divorce. <laughs> no, no. That all happened. That all happened before I even joined the force, didn't it? 
Well. You're my best partner, Abria. I'll be by your side, always, Aya. I can never figure out if this is supposed to be more than just a... If it's meant to be like a father-daughter relationship, in a sense, or if it's meant to represent more, you know? Hmm. When I touched Eve, that feeling, was it Maya? But Maya died in a car crash with Mom. No, it just couldn't be. Okay, so, I'm pretty sure that's... Uh, yep, that's the end of day two. Day three selection is going to be incredibly short. The first episode that we have next time now is going to be um, a bit of talking, but not as much as... Not as much as we had for day two. It's going to be a little bit of talking, a bit of a preparation for the dungeon that's coming. The dungeon itself is going to be a lot shorter than what we've had this time, but it's going to be a bit tougher. It's going to be the start of, uh, yeah, the, the tougher sections of the game. So, this has been Green XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in the next episode when we start Day 3 Selection. See you in a bit, folks.